Randy, one of my favorite subjects, bunker play. You love bunkers. I love bunkers. But I see more people have trouble with bunkers because they don't read the shot properly. That's true. It happens all the time. And it, it shouldn't be that hard. There's a couple of key indicators. You just have to pay attention. That's right. So what do you see, Rod? Let's walk into the bunker. Well, here's our shot. We missed the green. You don't miss many greens. No, this is your ball. Oh, that's my ball. But we're alternate shot. I'm going to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So first of all, when you walk in, you start to feel what the sand is. Is it soft? Do you have a firm, you know, right. is it firm, soft? Use your feet. Yeah, absolutely. You, you feel, and, and within the rules of golf, you can use your feet. Right. You can't use the club. You can't go, hmm, you know, it feels a little soft. <laughs> but you can use your feet, and they're great indicators. Right. Randy, why don't you set up and, and talk well, more about what you what One you of the wrote. things I notice, Roger, that people don't pay attention to is where their ball landed and okay. where it ended up. I see people all the time. I'll play in pro-ams. A guy will hit one and he'll skull it and he goes, there's no sand in the bunker. But his ball landed here and his ball's 40 yards over there. Yeah. If the ground is firm, your ball's going to look release and be a long, much farther away than where it hit. If the sand is soft and heavy like here, it's going to stay in a pretty close proximity. Now, the angle of descent has something to do with that. But if you just pay attention to little things like where the ball land and where it is. I'm using my feet. Do I, is, it, is the sand move easy or is it firm? Is there not much sand underneath me? That's telling me how much effort, how much strength I need to put into the shot. That, so, that's going to dictate the type of shot that you're going to hit. Exactly. So when the we'll sand... talk about technique a little bit later on. On, but the force of the swing in, in a softer sand condition like this is a little bit more than a firmer condition. Correct. So in a sand like this, it, it provides more resistance, so I'm going to need to swing harder to hit a certain distance. Now, if I've got a firm, compact sand, the ball comes out much quicker. The sand doesn't slow the club head down as much. So in a, in a situation like this, the ball landed here. I know it didn't travel very far. I know the sand's heavy. My feet are digging in easy. There's a lot of sand around my feet. I know the sand's heavy. So I know when I swing through, I'm gonna have to put some, some real hit into it to get the ball to come out any distance. If the sand was firmer, I could make half that swing and the ball would go the same go distance, the same as distance. That. So just pay attention to the environment. That's telling you what you need to do once you get ready to hit the shot. Great advice.